matter what. So where's the transition from kind of the soccer world to obviously I know now and anyone sees the painting. <laughs> Kind of the paintballing world. Um, definitely, it was. Tw- it was. I can't pinpoint the exact date, but it was like August 2018. Mm. Um, one of my friends, um, who I met in college, he was getting married. Oh, okay. Um, I was his best man, and I was trying to figure out like what to do for you know his little his bachelor thing. We didn't. We couldn't go to Vegas because um, it, it it just wasn't his thing. You sure. know, he wasn't like this big party animal. Let's go to Vegas, get drunk and wasted and all that. It wasn't right. his thing. So I was trying to figure out like what can we do. And then I, I remembered in high school, I actually played paintball in high school. Nothing oh, crazy, okay. like okay. serious. It was just kind of like a couple day, a couple times I went with a buddy and stuff like that. We rented the guns from the field and played. Uh, ne- never anything serious, but I remember trying to think of like what we could do for his bachelor thing. And I was like, I know he always talks about he's wanted to go play paintball again. Mm. So I was like, let's go play paintball. So I got like him, um, his brother-in-law, me, like three, uh, three four of uh, the rest of other us. And we all went to go play paintball. And instead of just going, like, we went to a store beforehand, bought all the gear and stuff like that, sure. and we and we played the whole day. And after that, I was like, I want to do it again. Mm. I want to do it again and again and again and again. <laughs> so it kind of just, it, it that it really re-sparked that, that love that I had for this sport that I was able, that I did 10 years ago, but I never had the opportunity to really do just because soccer was such a big part sure. of my life. Um, and I was like, I want to do this again. So it started at like August 2018, um, and then it, from there to now, it's like, yeah, paintball has just been huge for me. I've gone, I don't think I've missed a couple weekends here and there, and obviously during COVID when sure. the fields were closed. But other than that, I, I I think I've gone just about every single weekend I can possibly go. What is the difference between the world of soccer versus the world of paint? Because obviously, one is soccer is like a it's a that's like in your blood, right? Yeah. Paintballing is like, it's a, it's the closest thing I think outside of airsoft games, mm-hmm. but it's one of the closest things you're gonna get to like, literally actual like, it's a sport. Yeah. It's like a sport mixed with like combat. It's like a very yeah. interesting world, and you have gaming. I know you're a gamer as well, yeah. so it's kind of this awesome blend that kind of pieces all to kind yeah. of together. So I mean, I, I, there's a lot of similarities, you know, with paintball. You know, it's a t- it's still a team sport. Sure. You know, that you still have to communicate with your teammates. Um, it's very fast paced. It's very athletic. A lot of players who play paintball actually played other sports. Oh, okay. You know? So like, you know, there's soccer players. Um, there's a pro player. Um, his name's, uh, Frank Antetomaso. He's actually a, a college football player. Oh, oh. So there, there's a, there's a lot of, you see a lot of, a lot of things from other sports help you out in paintball, especially like for me for soccer, right? We're, cause we di- we're diving around out there, sliding, sure. diving. And I did that in soccer. So I, it's not something I had to learn how to do it's something that came naturally from, for me. Um, it, it's just very similar though. Like, you know, like I said, it's, it's, there's a lot of camaraderie and I think it's even, you, you're even closer with your team than you are in other sports just because it's such a sure. niche community. Um, everybody knows everybody, so that that's kind of cool. You you're able to build relationships with people very quickly, just because there aren't. It's not this huge community of people. Everyone's very, very close and 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 tight with each other. So it, it's it's a fun community to be a part of. So your uh, your uh, father, how does he kind of feel that transition? Is this... uh, he doesn't care. Oh, okay, he's gone to watch. And oh, okay. He, and when his, has he played ever? He has not. But oh. I, I, I keep trying to get him to go to go play. Um, but he actually wanted to come to Florida with me when I went this past week. Oh, weekend. really? He, he he even called me like while I was uh, when I landed. He was we were talking just like, oh, how was your flight? And he was like, he was like, I'm so sorry I couldn't be there. I yeah. feel really bad. And I was like, don't feel bad. Like, why would you feel bad? Um, and he was like, oh, because I would have really liked to go and experience that with you and stuff mm. like that. So he likes it. I mean, um, he's only gone a couple times. He doesn't um, necessarily. Well, just because he hasn't been a part of it that often, he doesn't necessarily ha- understand how the games work, like the tournaments and sure. the, the the format of paintball that we play. Um, but like, it's, it, he doesn't care. It, it goes back to the same thing of when I was a kid. Whatever you do, just be the best at it. Right. So he, as long as I'm, he he doesn't like the money I spend on it. Yeah, because that's one of the things. <laughs> that's what I was I was gonna bring up. Yeah. Soccer, a ball and a cl- some shoes. Yeah. But paintballing, you have yeah. you have guns, you have paint that you obviously have to keep buying. Yeah. You have gear, you have masks, you have things yeah. that you have to protect the stuff you have to have. And obviously, you're die tackling, slide tackling. I mean, that's, yeah. that gear is. Gonna, I mean, obviously, you have like pads and stuff with yeah. soccer and stuff too. But like, the difference in when it comes to play, 
right? The yeah. entrance to get into it. Yeah, financial um, wise, it's definitely a little bit more expensive. Like you said, you know, soccer, just your cleats. You don't even need cleats, really. Sure. Just a ball in an open field to play on. Go to any park, any recreational area, any, anywhere that has an open field of grass you can play in. Mm. Whereas paintball, the fields are realistically only open on the weekends. So you can wait. Only... Why is that the case? Um, it's because of other sports, or I think it's just because it's it's just a bit the business practice, right? There isn't mm. that many players involved in it to to keep the fields open. To keep way. the fields open. How many staff there. do you need to run a? Because, sh- um, I, that that I don't know. I don't know the the exact business side of running a field. Okay, because I'm uh, curious. Is I know I know like really you only need one referee kind of, and yeah. now in mean, soccer you need a lot of players, right? Yeah. But I mean that's kind of like easy when the interest is like that. How many yeah. is it like five v five or is it different? Depending on, um, so I mean, for paintball, it's it's different, right? They have you have your your recreational play where mm-hmm. that's just you know, the you know the just the your regular players who come who just sure. want to go and have a good time, whether they have their own gear or rent or they rent, um, you know, they're just they're just there to you know recreational play, mm. so whatever. If there's like sixty players, eighty players, however many players, they just split them up evenly. There's different like field layouts, and then you know they just let them go. Go shoot each other. <laughs> um, what I play is we uh, we play the more. <laughs> I mean, that's really what it is, and that's how I started. A lot of everyone started at doing that, right? You know, just a recreational play, going out, running around, just shooting each other, um, and then you you know a lot of you eventually transition to what I play, which is a X ball or speed ball mm. or, or, or or air ball. There's so many names for it, which is a it's basically a five v five kind of team death match format. Um, it's it's time. You have a 15 minute clock. Um, the whole it, it basically works off the clock. You have the 15 minutes to score as many points as you can. Mm. Um, the format, the the way you score points has changed a little bit over time. The current format we have now is uh, either side of the field. There's a start a start gate sure. where you have to touch your gun to before the before the um, the 10 second timer expires and the horn goes off, and you essentially run to your bunkers. You have to and behind each start gate there's a, a buzzer. Mm. So the whole the way you score a point is by touching that buzzer. Um, obviously before the other team touch, you know, touches your buzzer. Um, and you know, that's how you don't necessarily have to eliminate all the other players to Mm. do that. It's just the easiest way is to kill them. And then you just go touch it. Um, but there are instances where people will literally just run down the fields, like sneak by and, and hit the buzzer. Um, so that's, that's cool. Yeah, that's that's the the style format that we play. Uh, it's just five v five, and you have air bunkers. You don't you. We're not in the woods. No, of course, like of people, course. You know, it was that's how it was back in the day. That sounds dope. You know, yeah, I know, and, and they still do it to this day. Like, it's hard yeah. to get that to to kind of get the full body away with a tree. You know, I don't know how. Yeah, you know. Yeah, but like you have like these triangle air inflate. That's what you yeah. mean, right? Okay. Yeah. So there's like different shapes. You know, you have the like the triangle that we call sure. the Doritos. Oh, that's um, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Um, we have, like, you know, big, you know, cans that look like soda cans. Uh, we call it the juice box. It's literally just a rectangular bunker. Um, you have your snake side layout, which is just beams that are, like, probably, like, three, four feet high mm-hmm. with other bunkers. It's the, We call it our, the snake side because you have to literally crawl, crawl all the way down it. Um, and, yeah, there's just a bunch of different shapes. Uh, uh, it changes every week depending on what league or what tournament is happening. They kind of – you know, every league has their own style of, of layouts that they put out. Um, so, so my question then is, um, you're you're now kind of this again this kind of new f- passion of yeah. of sports again. This has been your world, you know. Sports has been like yeah, huge. Just like um, I think you call it, if you call it, I think it's not even a stretch to say that you know sports is like kind of like mom and dad in a way like it's really helped yeah. raise and get you to where you are today because yeah. I, I, I did I backtracking real quick I didn't mention this but for like a year or two I did I played basketball and baseball too oh whoa when I was a kid mm. but it was like I said it was just for like a year or two nothing crazy sure but like still I've anything sports has always been huge in my life um and do you kind of feel like that was that that's been your calling like you you know you don't want to run away from like this kind of like you know, because again, you. I asked you earlier. It's like, so what did you want to like do? And you're like, be a be a GoPro. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, it, you know? it's um, yeah, it's and uh, and I'm glad. It seems like you just. You, I'm glad. It seems like you don't want to settle, and I, and I I think that's awesome. The fact yeah. that you're still striving for that. Yeah, right? it's some just something involved with sports. Mm. I I I don't know if I found it yet. I mean, right now sure, the, the sure. whole the whole goal is you know eventually you know I'd like to become a, a professional paintballer, um, but 
regardless of what happens in my life, I, I, I definitely, yeah, I want to be involved in something that has to do with sports, whether it's like coaching or like in a medical capacity or whatever, just something involved in, in sports is definitely something that I, I don't want to get away from. If I can be involved in it for, you know, my entire life, I'll, I'll be happy with that. And um, I guess my I guess final question here, um, um, do you feel like sports have taken you away from anything? Because I've noticed that like, you know, friendships and stuff, relationships and stuff, friends and family, that, right? Do you feel like um, that sports has been such a big part of your life that you kind of feel like you lost certain aspects of it? Um, I wouldn't say lost, but there were definitely, you know, times growing up where... I got to go to me, it can't hang out, like type of thing. Yeah, exactly. There were definitely moments where I, I, I had to, you know, sports had to go above, you know, hanging mm. out with friends, uh, going to a party, you know... You know, doing something in a relationship. You know, that's actually something painful. Has actually done that. Um, my my last girlfriend, she was, she would get that. She would. I wouldn't say upset, but she would definitely get. You know, yeah, I guess it is upset when I would when I would play because I I play Saturday and Sunday, mm. so you know I wouldn't see her all the time on the weekends. That's definitely my fault. Probably I should. You know, definitely you definitely have to have a balance. Sure. Um, but yeah, definitely. I, like I said, I wouldn't say lost, but there's definitely some things that I maybe missed out on mm. because of you know sports or, or soccer in general but you know it's a it's a choice i'm okay with choice i i'm sure i'm happy to live with because it's, you know i mean literally it's like it's it's um it's been kind of the best friend yeah it's, and it's, a lot of the friends i had i, I had were because of yeah sp- because of sports so it's like yeah, I didn't go. I didn't get to hang out or go to this party or whatever. But I was able to go to this tournament and win a national title. Yeah. So you know, I'm 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 okay with that trade off of, <laughs> you know, going to a party versus coming home and I and I and I know I'm a I'm a champ. I, you know, I won the the national championship mm-hmm. in in whatever sport I was playing. So, you know, I'm I'm perfectly okay with losing out on those those memories because I was able to make even better ones. Um, looking back in kind of like your life at this point, right? Um, you know, uh, is there any like changes you make, or do, do you kind of see it and it's like, man, I'm really, really happy of kind of where you where you started and where you are now? Um, yeah, I I, I wouldn't say I regret anything, but there were definitely like, there's like small stuff sure. that I think I could change. You know, for sure in 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 high school, you know, with the whole bad grades thing, you know, sure. you know, making sure I have good grades, I actually almost got expelled. From Shoot. My grade. Yeah, I actually forged a, my report card and I got caught. <laughs> So I almost got expelled from high school. <laughs> Yo, listen, homie's <laughs> thug life in it right now. Yeah, it, it was it was bad. Yeah, it was it was not fun. But yeah, you know that's definitely something I would change just by making sure I got better grades. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have had to deal with that. Listen, um, we're, we're all, you know, they'll be all right. You know. Yeah, yeah, it was good. I'm, I didn't get expelled, so that's all I can. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, yeah, <laughs> just having been, you know, doing stuff like that. Um, maybe with the whole soccer thing, when that guy told me I needed to lose, you know, more weight mm. instead of kind of letting it get me down, maybe take that and let it motivate me more. Sure, sure. Um, other stuff, you know, like with the stuff with my grandpa, that stuff out of my control. Sure. You know, I really can't do anything about that. Um, I, you know, definitely taking school a little bit more seriously, like college wise. Like once I, you know, got into college, taking my academics more serious. Um, I do want to go back at some point. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't I do know too. when. Yeah. Um, but I definitely would like, you know, to go back. Um, I don't, and, and you know, it's like I said, it's just really small stuff. The rest of my life, I, I, I really, I, I can't complain. Mm. You know, um, right now where I'm at in life, I'm, I'm definitely in a, in a very happy place Good. with with what i'm doing and, and and with my job and paintball has opened so many doors for me i've been able i've just this year alone i traveled i went to sacramento i went to chicago i went to florida i went to texas mm. um i just came back from playing world cup which was an amazing experience in its own right even with the crazy weather there was Dude, like, i saw the photography some photos of like you yeah. just like in that was awesome yeah it, it's it's a it, it's an adrenaline rush like no other it, it's so fun um and like i said just the doors i've been able to that have opened for me um working in a paintball store meeting you know pro players having these connections um 
it definitely helps out on the financial side as well. Sure, yeah. I'm um, not having to pay cuz like kind of like going back to the all the gear and stuff like that. Yeah, gear, it's a, it's expensive. You know, entry is $40 just to go play, mm. paint depending on how good or bad like the like how good of the quality of paint you buy, you know, at your box just a box can be, you know, 25 up to like $50. Mm. Um the gun by itself, if you get like a high-end one like one that I have, um, it's sixteen hundred dollars. You know, <laughs> damn. Yeah, the the part with the whole, the loader where we keep our paint, a good one, another two hundred. A tank is like three hundred. Mm. And then just you know, it adds up. You know, especially because sure. I have, I don't have one gun. I have two guns. Yeah. I have two full setups. So we're talking like right, just right there alone is easily three Gs, probably two Gs. over, probably close really? to four. Yeah. Yeah, Woo! easily. Yeah. And then all the gear, you know, stuff like that, you know, pants, jerseys, helmet, um, um, masks, um, knee pads, elbow pads, all the miscellaneous stuff. I mean, you don't just have one set. You have yeah multiple sets of everything. Um, so it, it definitely adds up. But being in the world of paintball, I'm, I'm, I get, you know, you know, luckily because of the fields that are around us, we're very close. I don't have to pay for entry. Mm. So I get to go in for free um as far as like when i buy stuff i get very big discounts mm. um the team that i play for is sponsored so they give us a lot of like cut prices on things sometimes they every now and then they'll, they'll give us something for free yo yeah so it, it definitely helps out the financial aspect of it's kinda it like this little family you just got adopted into yeah like. exactly yeah so and you know i get like for like like just the, even the hoodie i'm wearing i got it from from one of our sponsors shout out to uh lux yeah shout out lux dlx <laughs> um the guy who one of the, the the techs who works for them i had asked them at a tournament like a month ago he was wearing it and i was like can i hey give me one like when we go out to cup can you hold one for me i'll buy it and i'm not just gonna get it for free sure and as, I, as i'm there all of a sudden something hits me in the back and i turn around and he threw the, and he just gave it to me for free oh. so it's like small stuff like that you know it it, it it helps out you know being in the being in the community and, and working at a store where we we work with a lot of other teams we sponsor other teams mm. we, we sponsor a pro team so it's a, there's a lot of benefits to it 